This is the Money Back Report. I'm Stefan. In this episode, I want to share this article that described that rich people for the year 2020 will be disillusioned from their wealth, meaning that they're not going to know what's going to happen to the wealth because of this thing that's happening in the world right now, this stimulus bill that's coming out, this printing of money. It described that that they, the wealth think they, that they're secure right now, right? That their money will go a long way, all right? But if you keep printing out money, they'll reduce their wealthiness substantially, all right? If they're millionaires, that's mean how far can their money go to? In this article, it described that these, the wealthy people will face some kind of inequality in the future if, if we keep printing out money out of nothing. But let's carry on with the article. It said, headline, why the wealthiest Americans should prepare for the revolt against unprecedented inequality. When the top 10% bubble pop in 2021, the loss of illusion, disillusion, and security of wealth will be shattered into all those who believe artifice, artifice and illusionary wealth are real. All right? It's telling you right there. He's giving you a warning up that if you keep printing out money, what you think is wealthy won't be wealthy anymore. All right, a million dollars will not go a long way. A million dollars right now look will look small. All right, but let's continue. That's Charles Hugh Smith, previously halted by CNBC as one of the best alternative financial bloggers on the internet, offer up his unsettling outlook for the upcoming year. Those in America, top ten percent who have reaped it virtually all the gains and incomes and wealth of the past 20 years, live in a bubble that they viewed as unbreakable. No matter what problem arises, their personal income and wealth is secured by the government, central bank, etc., he said. You know, they don't understand that the money in their pocket right now, for instance, if I have a dollar and they keep printing out my, my, my money, that means my dollar won't be worth a dollar it won't go as long as i as i think a dollar will 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 if, if we keep printing out money like this a dollar right now would look like pennies like right, right right now when you know how some people throw some people actually throw pennies away i don't know why it's still money but some people actually throw pennies away if we keep printing out money like crazy Sooner or later, our dollar gonna be resemble as pennies. Like it does, it's, not, it's worthless. But let's continue with the article. In other words, those at the top of the wealth power pyramid are confident any financial pain will quickly be soothed by Federal Reserve and its willingness to keep printing money. Quote: Any spot of bother in the gravy train that fund the top ten percent, local and state government, university, big tech. Big Pharma, Department of, of Defense, Wall Street, hedge fund, venture capitals, etc. will be doused with trillions of dollars borrowed and printed into existence by the Treasury or Feds. Unquote. He wrote his he wrote his of two minor blogs. No matter what spot or bother arises, the solution is more trillion. It's just a few key stroke away. Unquote. While that has indeed been mostly true of years now, Smith pointed to the foley in that thinking. Quote, we cannot print wealth and borrow it into existence, he continued. All we can print and borrow is artifice and phantom representation of illusionary wealth that will vanish into thin air. And in reverse of how the money was created out of thin air. Unquote. It will lead to asset and elite getting crushed without the backstop of liquidity. The stock, he warned, will go bitless as phantom wealth dissipates. All right, your stock, man, this stock can go bye bye. Ultimate, huh? Ultimately, Smith envisioned a shakeup of the status quo in which the dying of the Fed money flow is only one factor in a large unwin. Quote, on top of his myoptic belief that their success is all a result of their own endeavors rather than a tight financialization of top 10% are equally blinded by the toxic consequences of wealth income inequality that has so richly benefits the few 
at the expense of many, he wrote. But tide did not run in one direction forever, and a revolt against the unprecedented inequality that heavily favored the top 10% is now possible, and it's a certainty. So he's claiming that this is going to happen to wealth, wealthy people. If you're going to allow, I'm, I'm, sure wealthy, I'm sure there are more wealthy people out there. I'm sure there are more smart, wealthy people out there to know the consequences. But some of them are, some of the wealthy people, but there are some of those wealthy people that's, that's um, oblivious to what's going on right now. All right? But in order to be wealthy, you got to be some kind of smart. I mean, you're building your own wealth, you got to be some kind of smart, except for the people who inherit their wealth. But it's telling you that, hey, the gravy trade might run out. If you keep printing money like this, what you have right now isn't really what you think the word, the value of it. The value of the dollar is going to um, decrease big time. We keep printing out trillions of dollars. And most of these money that's being printed out is going out, out to foreign aid, which doesn't, does not benefit us. Foreign aid that... Foreign aid that... um that invest in gender studies? How does that benefit us? That invest in another country defense? That buy their arm ammunition from another country? How does that defend us? It's, it's only hinder our, our, our wealth. That's what it is. So, But I digress. But it's saying that, you know, like all these wasteful spending, print out money for wasteful spending. And most of the money that's being printed out is not even going towards us. It's be another thing. It would be another thing if most of the money goes towards Americans. But the money's not even coming towards towards us. The the most of the percentage of the money is going overseas. But I digress. Let's carry on. Soon he said the bottom ninety percent will demand a fairer distribution of wealth in the system that function for a greater good instead of a parasite and leeches further into the lining of their pockets. All right? Yeah, exactly. So basically, it's, we're back to square one. You know, people that's complaining about equal wages. All right? You want equal wages? That's equal wages and all this stuff, right? All right, we'll print, print, print out more money. And then they turn out that the extra money that they got w- w- was it would be the same value as got originally. They're back to square one. Basically, they go around in circles. So it's telling you that the solution is not print out more money. It's never a solution to print out more money. I'm telling you, all right. And we're in the situation we're in right now. In my opinion, the only solution is to open the country back up. All right, take proper precaution, but open the country back up. Pure and simple. That's the only solution. For my opinion, but let's carry on. Not only will their lifeboat prove unstable, it's totally unsustainable right now. Print out more money. Have you seen the debt clock? I mentioned this before in my video. Have you seen the debt clock? It's unsustainable. Every level of government will come after whatever the left as tax will soar and virtually every form of income and wealth. Smith went to explain in his blog spot, blog post. The comfortable are about to experience some of the discomfort that is everybody life at the bottom sixty percent. Exactly, the wealthy are gonna, gonna be, they're gonna experience what it's like to be poor. The bottom to sixty percent, an increasing percentage of the next thirty percent who still aspire to fantasy middle class security. Exactly, these people. <laughs> If you keep printing out more money, there's no way in heck will you ever reach your goal and your dreams, all right? Because the value of your money will, will, won't be as valued the way it is right now, all right? Remember back in the days, we could buy a piece of candy for like a, a penny, all right? Or buy a candy bar for like five cents, right? Now it's like a dollar, right? Right? Now it's like a dollar. Like, look at that, the substantial changes, substantial increase of prices, when you put up more money, you're increasing prices, all right? Now, uh, a dollar hamburger won't cost a dollar more. It'll cost $3 for a dollar hamburger. And you look at yourself like, hey, wait a minute. This used to cost less than what it is, what it was. Yeah, no, duh. That's because we're putting up more, more money. When you put up more money, it increases inflation. That's what people don't understand, all right? They want a short-term solution and not a long-term solution, 
right? A long-term solution is to open the economy. A short-term solution is printing out more money, all right? Just open the economy. But let's carry on. At its stand right now, such a reckoning on the stock market will have a weight as the Dow Jones Industrial Average plus 0.24% up the tri triple digits on Wednesday in its penultimate trading. I can't how you pronounce that. Penultimate, penultimate trading at 2020. The Nasdaq compass, 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 composite, I mean, and the uh, SP 500 were also higher. All right, and that's the end of the article. All right? So basically, this article is saying that rich people, you better better be aware of what's happening when they're going to print out more money. All right? I think this is why most of the Republicans and conservatives are apprehensive to give people $2,000 because they know the consequences of what's going to happen. Like, you print out more money. But again, they, they, now why did they approve the federal aid for? There's no... They should just cut a clean bill, right? Just fund the people if, if, it, if it has to come that if it has to come that to that conclusion. All right? Just fund the people. Don't... Why do we have to give the Kennedy Center or the National Art Gallery? What the heck? It's closed right now. Who's... Like, this is all wasteful spending. I'm sure the FBI do not need millions of dollars to upgrade their buildings, all right? It's all wasteful spending. And what is what are these uh, politicians going to do with the money? They're just going to upgrade the furniture? You, they do not, at this moment, they do not need no renovation of any buildings or furniture, all right? But I digress. Let me know what you think. What's your comment? You think we should be worried, people who... People who follow the market, people who aspire to be wealthy, should we worry about this printing out money? I would say yes. You, I would say yes. Should be worried, but let me know what you think. This is the Money Bank Report. My name is Stefan. You can find me on Parlor or Gap.com. But, but thank you for listening. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode. Thank you so much.